I'm not forgiving anything today. Mm. <laughs> you look amazing already. Thank you. I can't believe this is really happening. It is. It's happening. And I believe that you are going to be next. Please, weddings are not for everybody. <laughs> you keep saying that. That's not true. Come, hold on, Charles. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to see the bride on the morning of the wedding. Please step out of my way. Babe, is everything okay? I thought we agreed to go for something less expensive. Please give me a minute. It's my wedding and I should look my best, babe. Don't you mean it's your money? So you ought to make all the decisions. But that's not true. You and I have planned this wedding together and we've made every single decision. Why are you saying that? Mm. Like how you decided to pay the event planner her balance without telling me. No, no, that's not true. She was threatening to back out. I tried to call you. I couldn't reach you. You know what? I'm out of here. I can't do this. You can't do what? There will be no wedding. Ah, baby! Babe! Good. Yeah, it does. It has coconut in it. I'm glad you like it. I love it. I yeah, love you. Looking for Miss Esther, Sharon. Who will be? No Chief Sister should give her this car for her birthday. This car? Yes. What make I go? She did not say. Madam! I think you should try this out for some of your customers. They're going to really like it. This might make you a lot of money. Sure, will. <laughs> it's a new recipe I came up with. Oh, wow. This is so cool. You're so romantic, baby. Yeah, come in. Oh my God, it's so romantic. Madam, yeah. you get one brother with that side. You carry one fire car, come in, send her your birthday gift. The car, fine, well, well. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God, that is Mr. Kintoye. Are you? Okay, fine, I'm coming. Okay, I'm coming. Baby. Okay. So, I you know Akintoye, right? Yeah. He promised he was going to get me a car as a birthday gift in gratitude for what I did for him concerning the contract. I had no idea. He was serious about it. Oh, God, this people. Oh, you know what? I'll be right back. Let me just go quickly. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Oh, baby. I love your cake. Just come. Um, look outside. I'll be right back. Oh, my God. Hey,
velvet cake. Mm -hmm. I love you. You know what, Daddy? Six. Uh -huh. Let me tell you. Six cake. What's going on? I have a special treat for you. Okay. After today, this weekend, we're going to Palazzo Versace. No oh. freaking way! Oh. 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 Darling. Oh my god! You deserve the best of your heart. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. yeah. We don't need a handbag. It's I'm definitely going with Oh, girls. stop it. Forget it. I'm going. Okay, okay. I love you. You're the best thing that can happen to anyone. I mean, in my next life, I want to be friends with you. What? Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, what's, up, what's up with Mr. Solmood? He looks angry. Yeah, I thought I was the only one that noticed. Uh -uh. I don't think so. He's cool. He's cool. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my age. Oh, dear Lord. <sighs> Oh my god. Just, just just sit down please. Sit down. This this is bad. This is really bad. Why would you do a thing like this? I will say, Kisley does not deserve your tears at all. How could he break up with me on my birthday? Am I that bad? No. What did I do? I agree with you. What he did was outrightly wrong. Very wrong. Well, at least he was honest with his feelings. Yes. Does it again. Esther, I don't belong to your word. I'm sorry it had to be today. How can someone be so heartless? How? Well, at least it wasn't like Joe who actually turned my sister into an automated teller machine before admitting she was too sophisticated for him to handle. I actually thought we had something real. Come on, Esther. Don't that guy look like Madame Angigolo? Not like it was your fault. You, you tried to make him sophisticated, but he had no self-esteem. Bixis, I think April is right. Kisley to me seemed intimidated by your affluence. It's not your man. What are we? In the movies? Please let me be your Romeo. Nandi, it's just sex. And I can't buy flour for the woman I sleep with.
Thank you. Anything else? Yes, I have this conference in Abuja this weekend. You know who to take? She went to visit her mother. Then arrange for an escort if you can't spend the weekend alone. I know and I'm sorry. You... This is the third time you are doing this this week. And I don't like it. You know it's hard to get a taxi to my area. And they charge double of the amount. Okay, I owe you a fraction of my salary. I'm sorry, okay? See this couple over there? Yes. They have paid. Okay. Every other person is owing. Got it. Thank you. See Thank you. you. Alright, take care of yourself. Please, you have to go. We are closing. You can't make me leave this place. <sighs> Another drunk customer. Hey, hey, hey. I do not have time for damsel in distress. Just pay me and go home so that I can go home and rest. <sighs> what is it? I don't have a man. I can't find a man. Okay, but can you at least find your way home after you have paid me so that I can go home? I need to rest. <coughs> oh. 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 What is this? So oh. if you keep me for the lonely, the day that you work up, why did you leave me so little? Finally. Who are you? You don't remember? The bad guy. Yeah. Where are my clothes? How, how did I get into this? I hope you didn't do anything stupid. Oh well, like um, messing everywhere up with vomit. No, I didn't. You helped me into this. Oh no. When we got to that part, you suddenly sobered up and you fixed yourself up. So you did all that by yourself. So is anyone coming to pick you up? Well, I don't have my phone with me. Just please call a cab. 
well, I don't have any cab's number on my phone. But I can drop you off if you want. Where are my clothes? Oh, I washed them this morning. I can just tie it up in a polluting bag for you. What am I supposed to wear home this? Well, I don't think you have many choices right now. And you can keep the clothes afterwards. I'll wait for you outside. Get in, let's go. Get in where? I thought you were dropping me. This is a bicycle. Can you get on in? Let's go. <laughs> There's no way I'm sitting on that thing. Oh, fine. Hey! How am I supposed to even sit on it? Here, just sit here. And let's go. You're wasting my time. How do I sit? You can choose to sit like this or like this or like this. Can you just get on this? Let's move. Man, you're rude. This. I'm not comfortable. Are you going to be complaining or you're going to sit and let's get out of this place? Am I supposed to hold you or something? Hold me? No, just see that. Just take me to where I'll get a cab, please. Just take me to where I'll get a cab, please. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god! Madam, I don't say you say nobody disturb you even if I the cast the compound. Your mama don't come home. Does she know I'm around? Oh God, she must have seen my car. It's okay, just go. Okay. Hello, baby. Mom. You look like the mom. Mm. Same old story. Enough of the sulking. We are going out. Mom, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to be in bed. Shh. I didn't ask for your opinion. Hmm? Trisha. Yes, ma'am. No. Get my bags from the living room. Take them to the guest room. You know how I like my things. Yes, madam. Hmm? Yes, Mrs. Ike. Off you go. Get up. Get up and no, get you dressed. You are going stop. out. You just get. I've heard you. Just give okay. me time. I'll help you. Mom, stop! I will get go. Stop! Home. Stop! You sure? Kiss. She's working for the family. She's praying for the family. Everything she does, she does for you and I. The least you should give is to say thank you. Say thank you. Ah, Patricia, why are your face there like that? Mother and the mama, where they go? Anita, waiting be my name. Hey, question. I don't understand. What's in that one mean? Your brain don't get low voltage. Your name is Patricia. Why they ask me? Thank you. What's in the heart for this name? We madam and the mama won't do by baptism by fire. Hey, mother and they call me Pat. That one person they best me pass. Now in mama we they call me Trisha. Trisha not my name. <laughs> now what's it they make you verse? <laughs> you can't ask me. If you don't like the name, now you tell them say you don't like the name. This one call you Pat. This one call you Trisha. If you join the name together, now Patricia. So why you can't the verse? Now pet name be that. Eh. Hey. So make her they call you Ta. Or Annie. Hey, hey, hold on there. No, you don't even try him. No, just try him. No, call me Annie anything. 
My name is Nanita. Your name is Patricia. They call you back. This one call you. Any name where they call you, you don't consign me. Just call my name as it be, Anita. So now me supposed to answer pet name. Eh? Pet na dog. I no be dog. You take her like that. What you consign me? How do you take consign me? Eh? Then they call you what in the... You tell them say no be your name. Why you can't they call me the name when no be No, no try. No just try that rubbish you. If you tell me, say, don't they? I'm my job now. So you want me to send me go village? Eh? <laughs> they make me laugh. This is the way you get that. You're you the crazy. What you do? Come on, come on here. You don't work for back here, Abby. Go back there, go do your work. Leave my shoe. Consign you. Eh, hey, man, I'll tell you. That's Patsy. I'll be waiting where they call me. Who be my name? My name now, Patricia. Patricia. If you call me Patsy again, I need to call you. You know, you know, King Solomon was right. A, a little alcohol is good for the body. <laughs> Check out that gentleman coming. Hi, Mom. <laughs> yeah, hello. Um, do you mind sitting with us? Yeah, it would be a great pleasure sitting in front of two beautiful women. Thank you. I am Noe. Okay. And this is my younger sister. Mom! Esther. Be honest, do I look like a mom? Oh, you look terrific. Thank you. <laughs> my name is Ike. Nice to meet you. Okay. This is what we call fate. My late husband's name was Ike. Wow. Wow. Esther, you can imagine you marrying someone with the same surname, Ike. You wouldn't even have to change your surname after the wedding. So how are you? I'm fine. What can I see? She's praying for the family Everything she does, she does for you and I The least you should give is to say thank you Say thank you Thank you Especially thank you To a successful woman Successful woman Successful woman To be a woman To be a woman A successful woman Is it a crime To be a woman To be a woman Independent woman Not something good Not something good think I need a relationship right now. In fact, what I need is a break. And I need grandchildren. Grandchildren. Abraham is here. Your mother needs grandkids. 
Uh, Mom, aren't you a bit too young to be asking for grandchildren? Stop it, please. Come on. I don't mind. Your sister is really taking good care of you. Look at you, looking super good. Thank mm -hmm. you, Mom. Mm -hmm. Anyway, sis, where did you sleep last night? I've been trying to reach you all day. Um, I stayed at April's. Oh, okay. Anyway, there's an unpleasant development. Chairman of ECOP's company called and said they're taking the contract off our desk. What? Well, apparently, someone is offering them a better deal. And trust me, you don't want to know who it is. Hello, Mr. Noah. I'll call through the chase. I heard through Grapevine that your decision not to go ahead with our company is as a result of someone else offering you a 10% discount. Yeah, someone went behind us to do that. Okay, fair enough. So can we meet at your office? All right. Bye. She's working for the family. She's praying for the family. Everything she does, she does for you and I. The least you should give is to say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. This place you thank you to a successful woman. Successful woman, successful woman. To be a woman, to be a woman, a successful woman. Is it a crime to be a woman? Yeah, I've just. I know, just give me a little time. That's what I'm asking. I'll definitely get back to you. <sighs> Please take the bag in, get us something to drink. Okay, ma'am. <sighs> Baby, what is it? Oh, you know, I'm just tired. There's this charity organization we actually made a pledge to for three million, which we ought to have fulfilled. It's just that. Realize we've done so much in so short a time. I mean, we've built three different houses for three different families. And we're opening businesses for half a dozen women who are jobless. I mean, everything's just happening at the same time. I just, man, I don't know. No, that's nice. That means you're really doing something. Maybe just my own little way of giving back. Okay, and I really don't want to disappoint them. Okay, um, how about I bail you out? You bail me out, you're going to give me the three million? Mm -hmm. Anything to keep my baby smiling. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, baby, that's so sweet. I love you. Thank you so much. You know, I'm going to give you the account details. You just transfer the money to them. No problem. Just, I'll tell them it's from me. No problem. Thank you. Abraham, what do you want? I want my fiancé back. Did you see her? <laughs> Your fiancé? Yes. Babe. Abraham, we had an appointment yesterday, did we not? Yes, we did. But I sent you a text message. A text message? Yes, babe. The same text message that said you had to represent your sister in a business meeting. Tell me, Abraham, just, just tell me. Why couldn't she be at that meeting herself? Huh? I guess it was because she had a lover that was important to her. See, see, babe, you of all people know that my sister has been doing so much to, to, to run our company. Huh? Wait, hold up. 
Did you say our company? Yes, our company. No, boo. I think you meant to say her company, which you run for her. See, babe, you know my sister is my family. <laughs> Wait. Your sister is your family? Yes. And I am going to be your wife, so what the hell does that make me? A hoodlum? Come on, baby, don't talk like that. Come on. Why are you talking like that? Why not? What reaction were you expecting, huh? Abraham, we had an appointment the other day, but you cancelled on me because you had to accompany your sister to wherever the hell she wanted to go to. But babe, you know my sister is my boss. There it is. Now you are talking, now you are making sense. So you agree she's your boss, eh? Yes, yeah, she's my boss. Uh-huh. And you know she can wake up one morning and decide to kick you out of the company, no? <laughs> See, babe, that, that, that's not even possible. Just stop talking about that. No, 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 come, come on, that's all. Or maybe she'll just marry one man and give him the company, leaving us with nothing. Zero! C come on, babe. My sister cannot just wake up and fire me like that. You just have to stop talking like that. Abraham. Yes, baby. I am not going to do this with you. I am standing on the street, shouting like a mad woman. You will not make me crazy. Do you understand? Leave me the hell alone. Don't drive me crazy. Abraham, I will punch you. I will literally punch you. Here you are. <laughs> I hope you're not trying to propose to me because I will so dump your sorry ass that your head will spin. It's just a gift. A gift for? Why are you so cynical? Men don't fall in love with women like us. They can marry us for money, but definitely not for love. We are... We are just too much for them. They prefer the wimpy dummy they can control. You know what you just did? You profiled an entire gender. I mean, there are men who like assertive women. Can I ask you a question? Could you have married your wife if she was richer than you? It's only natural that husbands should be richer than their wives. <laughs> it was not natural for people to fly across the ocean before the Wright brothers invented a plane. It was not natural for people to talk to their loved ones far away before cell phone came along. But when women make money more than men, it's not natural. I like your fire. <laughs> he likes my fire. Men like fire and women like us only for sex. They don't take us as wives. I know my place and I'm comfortable in it. Lock my door on your way out. I'll drop this all the same. See you around. To be a woman, to be a woman, a successful woman, is it a crime? To be a woman, to be a woman, independent woman. What's the problem? I don't know. I think my tires are shaking. Oh. Okay, what do we do now? I don't know, let me check something.
think I have to call the mechanic. Okay. Yeah, hello. Hi, good afternoon. How's work? Oh. Okay, um, I think I don't understand this car. I think my tires are shaking. Okay, okay. I'll come to the workshop right away, yes. Alright, thank you. He says at the workshop, so let's just get there. Okay, just drive carefully. I will. Wait a minute. Is that not Ike? Ike, that's um Ike, my mechanic. Your mechanic? Yes. That is Ike. Ike. Esther, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Dressed in that rag. Yeah. Now my shop be this now. Now my shop. I thought you said you were an engineer. Uh huh. I'll be mechanic, engineer. All of them are the same thing now. And it was so convenient for you to leave out that part. That part of your source of livelihood. Babe, see, now me get this workshop. This workshop where you see now on my own. If we marry, we go bring money. We go use your money. Expand this place. This place go big. Uh -huh. uh, hold on, babe. Is Ike my mechanic the the Ike you're talking about? Yes. <laughs> God, this life now, wow. You are shameless. In fact, you are stupid and you're a pathetic liar. How can you do that to my friend? Are you crazy? I beg, keep quiet. You know, go marry. Very soon you go enter monopause. I beg, go marry. What is wrong with you? Why would you talk to her like that? Oopsie. When you bring money, we expand this place. This place will be big. I, I'm trying to understand now. April, please let's go. Babe, consider. Oh, make I tell you now. Man, this very scarce. So consider. alone. I want to be in bed all day. Because of Ike the mechanic, you should be ashamed of yourself. Why is it so hard to find true love? I mean, I just want love. Just, that's all I want. Maybe you should stop searching. Marriage will make me very happy. What if I disguise as a poor girl? Maybe I'll find a rich prince who would fall in love with me and then eventually he'll find out that I'm rich and then he'll be angry and upset that I lied to him but eventually he'll forgive me because he's already in love with me and then we'll live happily ever after. Fast forward to part two. You both are now married. And the prince starts hating you because he cannot condone your decisive attitude. Out of low self-esteem, he kills you and then commits suicide. What kind of a story is that? I'm sure you didn't think of that part. Come on, sweetheart. What you need is a rebound sex. Hell no. Yes. Come on, just go out there, look for a man of your choice, sleep with him without expecting a ring on your finger. It's hmm. that simple. There is no way I'm taking any advice from you. <laughs> Not any relationship advice. That's very really because I don't have any to give. Oh yeah, stand up from that bed. Now, one, two, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I'll bring what out. Please now. Just 
Santo. Madam, it's our closing time. Sit down. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Ebuka. Hmm. Ebuka. I'm Esther. Nice to meet you. Um. Thank you so much for the other day. I didn't get to. I appreciate you. Oh. It's nothing. So would that be all? Actually, I've been dealing with a lot of heartbreaks lately in my relationship. And my darling friend advised me to have rebound sex to help me get a better grip of my emotions. Mm. Good for you. So why are you telling me all this? Do you want to try it out? <laughs> you. Mm. Last night. Oh, dear Lord, Mom. I'm so sorry. I slept at April's. I'm so sorry I didn't call. It's okay. I will be inviting someone over for lunch this Sunday, and I want you present. Who? Someone you used to know. I ran into him at a shopping mall. Does this someone have a name? Say surprise. Good morning, Mom. Oh, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Just you slept well? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Jeez, you're not dressed for work. Anyway, Chairman of Greenwich Media Court said he's on his way to the office. Already? Oh my God, I forgot. Um, you, you might need to just fill in for me, okay? Well, I have a meeting with Samson this morning. Well, you can do that later in the day. And while you do what? What will you be doing then? Anyway, I have a lunch date with Maria. A lunch date with Maria? Is it more important that the company agreeing with your sister? Uh, mom, it's fine. I'll sort myself out. It's fine. I'll just quickly go. Okay. Ah. Girl, you are crazy. You're actually very crazy. I know that. So tell me, how did it go? Well, it went well. What did I just hear? Okay. There was no pressure, mm -hmm. no expectation. No one was trying to please each other. I mean, it was just total freedom and fun. I told you, we are attached so much to sex. Sex is actually a big deal. Okay, sorry ma, I won't say anything again. Okay, so does this Oliver want some more? Hell no. 
Even if he does, I, I don't want to see him again. I mean, after everything, I was just so embarrassed. Why? Because you're the one that asked for it. Come on, girl. Women should express themselves more on sexual matters. I mean, life is real. <laughs> Not everyone is like you. Okay. You love me like that. <clears throat> mm. I want more of this just. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, what, what's with the attitude? I mean, I cast my appointment just to be with you here. A cheerful contest will actually add beauty to my day. What's all this? You cancelled your appointment. <laughs> Omo, you should have gone for your appointment instead of being here. Before people will now say, eh, Maria is trying to get him in trouble with his job. I beg. I beg. Wait, what about your friend? Is she still interested in selling her car? Yes. And how much have you come up with? Nothing. Nothing? I thought you said you were saving up money to buy the car. I had to use it for something else. Really? Anyway, I would I would ask my account officer to send you two million. <gasps> Are you serious, babe? Two million? Wait. Uh uh. Two million naira. Yes, two million. Ah, ah babe. The car is three point five million naira now. Where am I supposed to get the rest from? Uh, no, I know it's three point five million. You will get the rest next month. Just, just manage two million for now. <sighs> and then later they will say you are the boss's brother. What did you just say? No, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm speechless. I don't... Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Well, at least just cheer up. Huh? Okay? I'm very happy. <laughs> um, anyways, I have to go now. Alright, just take care of yourself. And be careful. Yeah. Alita, Ma. please do go call Esther for me. Okay, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> so you remembered, right? Why shouldn't I? She made it look as if the world would come to an end if she missed the competition. And I wasn't expecting to see her, so you could imagine my shock when I saw her stepping out of her father's car. Mm -hmm. And Mr. K made me swear by keeping an eye on her, see so we're not the same age. So tell me. Where is Mr. K now? He passed on seven years ago. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Thank you, Johnny. It's okay. Life goes on. Johnny, my, is that you? My star. Oh my God. Are you serious? Look at you. <laughs> Where did you find him? You know, we moved to Kaduna after our secondary school. Yeah, you, you got admission into uni just. Yeah, you remember. Of course I remember. <laughs> you know, after my university graduation, I later got employed by a big law firm in Joss. Hmm. Just last year, I decided to relocate back here to start up my own. Mm -mm, that's so <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Thank you. Um, so are you, are you married? No, I'm not. And how about you? Are you married? I'm oh, still single. Still single. <laughs> oh. And your mom told me you now run your own business. A big company. Mm, mom. Well, technically, yes. I didn't have the patience to be a salary earner. So I just Ooh. had to build my own little world and make something for myself. Nice. I like that. <laughs> you know, I wish I had the same thoughts earlier, but I'm trying to build something that is mine. It's never too late. <laughs> Jenny, so how are your parents doing? Do they still live in the north? Nope. My mom and my kid sister, they moved to the village after I lost my father. Oh, I'm so unfortunate. I'm so sorry about that. My, my dad passed too. Your mom told me. Oh, she did. Life continues. You know, I'm still struggling to find my way around this place. She will show you around. She spent 12 years in this town, so hang on to her. 
Oh. Um, it's okay. I'll show you around. So tell me, how have you been? I've been good. Been great. You look so extra carefully created. Oh, stop it. Thank you. <laughs> what would you like to drink? You know, you're not leaving today anyway. No. You I... eat and drink, get drunk on my account. My tummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, where's this girl? Coming. I'm so sorry uh, we kept you this long. I mean, we've not had a visitor in a long while. Are you kidding me? No. I mean, I could spend the night if you ask nicely. <laughs> My star. Oh, stop calling me that. But you liked it then. <laughs> well. You know, you're beautiful. <laughs> I mean, you've always been a beautiful girl, but you turned out a queen. Come here. Have a nice evening, Esther. You too. You take care. You startled me. Besides, I thought you were in your room. Oh, I went to my room just to give you two some privacy. Privacy? <laughs> you, what are you imagining now? Tell me you're not imagining the same thing too. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> I like him. I, I still do. It's just, I'm scared. I don't, I don't want to get my heart broken. Listen to me, my dear. Hearts are meant to be broken. Don't be scared of going on dates because you don't want your heart to be broken. We won't give up until we find your Mr. Right. I just hope after a journey, I don't have to go out there looking for anything anymore. I hope so too. <laughs> Mom, you and yeah. I are so shameless. I mean, Aww. this guy hasn't even asked us out. And here we are planning a wedding. Didn't you see how his eyes were glued on you throughout today? I saw that. <laughs> I'm sure soon he will join in the plan. <laughs> he gave me a peck. Oh, yeah. he did. Wow. But it might just be a friendly peck. Sure, friendly peck. Okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby. I love you. Mm. You go to your room, we shall see you later. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You are shameless. Me? <laughs> yes, you. Okay. I, 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 I don't understand this. Uh, how is it that you're in love? You just met this girl today. Wait. You mean you've not been paying attention to me? I said, this girl and I, we grew up together at Inugu and we're like best of friends. And I also heard you say that you've not spoken to this girl for like 10 years. So, I mean, can I stop anything like us falling in love? Tell me. You know what? Let's just drop this topic, okay? Mm -hmm. You're old enough to interpret your own emotion and you said you found love. So, all the best. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and your landlord. What, what was the conclusion with him? Oh, that man. Yes. He still wants to sell off the building. So he insists that I, if I get from the building. What is wrong with that man? But you're a lawyer, bro. You can make him rescind. You say? Yes. Well, I'm not sure I'm ready to make an enemy out of a man as powerful as Chief Adishina. So I already have an agent looking out for a place for me. All I want is a place as big enough for me and my team. Hmm. Well, it's fine. Just let me know when I can assist. 
Hmm? For real? I'm your guy, come on. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> All the best to your new love. <laughs> new love? Yes, new love. <laughs> This looks quite the class. Um, it's wow. actually one of my favorite restaurants. Really? Yeah. Wow. I like this place. You should taste their food. You would love it. I can't wait. Yeah. Welcome, sir. Welcome, ma. Thank you. Please, this is many. So tell me, what do you care for? Well, my usual um, seafood platter with calamari, of course. Okay. What? Is there a problem? Uh, no. I mean, the menu looks quite interesting. Yeah, it is. They have lots of variety. Mm. Um, um, that'll be all for now, okay? I don't want to take anything. Oh, no, of course, babe. You, you should taste it. No, I just want to watch you eat. Okay? Uh -huh. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. <laughs> you can go with us. Anyway, the platter would be enough for both of us. It's actually very, very large. Okay. Yeah, but we might need to um, order for extra calamari. Extra? Yes, and then the bottle of wine, of course. Perfect for the evening. <sighs> But I'm not sure we need extra. Come on, I mean, I don't really want to. I don't have much time, so yes. Hey, Buka, those guys are criminals. Can you imagine a bottle of water for 700? Even on our water wages has turned to wine. That was way too expensive. But my guy, now you call Sam. As you enter there, you study the menu. You see this. You call the babe. Say, babe, calm down. Me will reason this thing. My budget no reach this place. Simple thing like that. You cut your coat according to your clothes instead of killing, trying to kill yourself. Wait, till you don't expect my for my hands for people to try and impress? Babe, we want to impress you. Can't kill yourself. Which kind of impression be that one? See, might tell you. Mm. This babe, not my investment. Once I marry this girl, all my problems don't work out. Can you tell you? <laughs> I thought you said you love this girl. Uh -huh, no. So would the love block me from eating the money? Well, I think you know what you're doing, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. I know my game. <laughs> <laughs> eh. So what's up? Should I still bring the... To be a woman Independent woman Not something good Not something good She's working for the family She's praying for the family This is so tasty April when will you introduce your man to us? When men start growing balls. <laughs> Spencer, who is this fun for now? Meet until you're 45 and alone. Esther would have had her family and focused on them by then. You will be full of regrets. Make hay while the sun shines. Mom, I will only regret giving my heart to a man. To some nitwit who will tell me how to be fat, when I'm slim, when I'm beautiful, and when I'm not. Me, marriage is a scam. Hmm. Not when you meet the right person. Exactly. Because as for me, I've met the right person. You've met the right person? Yes, baby. If you accept to marry me, I will practically take you home to meet my mom this weekend. As the woman I'm spending the rest of my life with. Congratulations! Congratulations! 
Well, congratulations, guys, but not this weekend. Why? As you remember, Mr. Tony invited you to his son's birthday this weekend, and you cannot afford to miss it. Oh, that can wait. You can represent me there. Well, I already have plans for the weekend. Plans? Yeah. Is it like an official plan or a personal private plan? Does it have to be worth my time? Abraham. Mom, so you mean she can go out with her lover while I get stuck with work all weekend? Please, Mom. Abraham. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mean any of those words. I'll go, I'll go speak with him. Sorry. You're too sorry. Baby, it's fine. We, we can just make it Sunday. It's okay. did in there just proves to me that I am marrying someone that can stand up for himself and that makes me so turned on. Really? Yes. Oh. I love you. I love you too, baby. So, mm -hmm. tell me, do you want to get out of here and oh. finish the party at my place? Oh, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I will get my car key then. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. And, uh, my phone and my purse. All right, all right. I want you to know that I do not take you for granted. And I appreciate all the effort you put in towards the company. Most especially, the emotional support you give me as my brother. However, I don't appreciate your recent aggression. If you and I start working under a toxic environment, how then are we supposed to be productive positively? We've always lived in peace. And I hope that it will remain that way. Henceforth, I will carry out my duties at the office. Even though as the MD, it is your responsibility to sometimes help me out. But I will do it just so we are cool. So are we cool? We're cool, sis. Is that all? Yes. Well, good night then. Praying for the family Everything she does She does for you and I The least you should give is to say Thank you Sir, what exactly would you like to drink? Wine or spirit? Well, I I'm not sure I need anything I'll call you if I need anything, okay? Okay, sir Brother. What's up? So you're seeing? This girl is dangerously extravagant. He would have used your entire savings to pay for one shopping. Just thank your God your card expired yesterday. And I didn't know. <sighs> thank God for the bank people. But my brother, why don't you come clean with this girl? I mean, if she doesn't accept you for who you are, that means you both are not meant to be. Ebuka, what are you even saying? I mean, do you think a girl of a class will accept to date a middle broke lawyer like me? Come on, bro. Listen, I'll keep to my game till after our wedding night. My brother, you are judging this girl without knowing her. Give her a benefit of a doubt. It's not fair what you're doing. She's the one calling. Hello, baby. How you doing? 
my cousin and I are still expecting you. Are you okay? Have you taken any drugs? It's okay. Um, don't worry. <laughs> you understand. Okay? Alright, I'll, 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 I'll call you later, babes. She's not coming. She's down with crumbs. Women business. I get I get I guess I'll get to see her some other time. Sure. Let me get you something to drink. What what you, you Brother, not spoken to my girl? She didn't get you anything. I'm not sure I'm ready to drink anything seriously. I'm not still out of this shot, believe me. I mean, that was way too expensive. That's why you should drink. Let me get you. Really? Yes. Ah. <laughs> huh. Of all the seven billion people in this world, it had to be the guy I had a one night stand with. Well, are you sure he's the one? He is the one. He's the only one who works at that bar as a bartender. Well, it could be another bar with the same name. And same address. Oh God. I mean, who have I literally offended? Who is so angry with me? Who doesn't want my happiness? What have I done? I mean, it doesn't even matter. You slept with his cousin before you met him, so if he does not forgive you, then he's not worth it. It matters. I literally begged the guy to have sex with me. Do you know what he would think? That his cousin is marrying a slut. Well, what he feels or thinks does not matter. It matters to me because I love Johnny and I don't want to lose him. You know, I shouldn't have listened to you. Now look at me. Look at the freaking mess I'm in. Okay, now the bad one. Please, let me get us something to eat or drink. What do I do? your car keys. Mom. I mean, look for it. Check the drawer, the, the room. Just check anyway. Ask the maids. Leave me alone. Why are you looking like a widow? Don't tell me something had happened between you and Johnny. It's too early. Mom, we're fine. We just want to sit here gloomily. Yes. Um, meet my cousin, Ebuka. Ebuka, meet the woman of my dreams. <laughs> uh, hi. Yes. Uh, my, cous my cousin couldn't stop talking about you. I can see why. You are beautiful. <laughs> yeah, she is, right? Yes. Um, baby, I need to ease myself first. This guy right here has been loading the stomach with drinks. Don't even start <laughs> that. You were the one that said that you need to enjoy yourself. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I need to use my phone, okay? All right, okay. Please. You see what happened the last time? It was my very first time. I'd never done it before. It's, it's because I was dealing with emotional issues. Look, please. Is that so? Yes, but please don't tell him. I, I love your cousin. Uh, it's okay. I'm not the chatterbox type. Yes! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright, baby. What's up? I'm fine. Nice guy. <laughs> She's beautiful, right? Very beautiful. <laughs> She's everything you said and more. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
Uh, what, what, what would you like to drink? Uh, no, 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 we're fine. I mean, we've been drinking since morning. <laughs> Actually, water will be fine. Okay. Water. Anita. Yeah. Uh, I was about taking Mama to the hospital. Oh, uh, good afternoon, Ma. I'm so sorry. The traffic was too much. Mama, can't you recognize Esther? Mr. K's daughter. The one I used to call my star back then in Enugu. Oh, oh, oh. Esther? Ma. <laughs> ah, you're so grown. Ah. Good afternoon, Ma. Afternoon, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. How is your mom? She's fine, Ma. And your dad, the good man. He passed. Daddy passed. Ooh. It's a pity. Sorry. Thank yeah. You, ma. Mama, mm? she's the one I intend to get married to. Oh. Okay. You're welcome to my home, my Thank daughter. You, ma. Mama, Esther is a big lady. She has a lot of companies. As a matter of fact, this is the list of her cars. She's very rich, Mama. She's a big lady. <laughs> Finish whatever it is you're doing with her and come and meet me in the car. Go and come and take me to the hospital. You know my timing. Oh, baby, it seems Mama doesn't like me so much. She does. She has a heart disease. And the doctor suggested we fly her to India for surgery. Oh my God. <sighs> that must be really hard. How much is the surgery? Roughly 10 million naira. That's a lot of money. Yes, baby, I know. But I have to do whatever I can to save my mother's life. She's all I got now. She and my younger sister. I know. I'm, I'm so sorry, babe. It's okay, baby. I need to rush now and take Mama to the hospital. I'll, 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 I'll talk to you later. I'll okay. call you. Come here. <laughs> Let me take Mama to the hospital. All right. Bye, Mama. Johnny. Do whatever it is you want to do with that girl. When you want to marry, you will come and get your humble girl to marry. Mama, Ma what are you saying? Esther is a very humble lady, Mama. She's a nice person. I know what I'm seeing. She's not humble. She will turn into her slave. Mama, does it mean that I can't pay a woman's bride price anymore? On the contrary. When she pays your groom price, you will become her servant. Mama, what are you saying? Johnny, take me to the hospital. Take me to the hospital! <sighs> no, you won't. That woman does not like you. Well, I'm not sure. It's just a gut feeling. This is a good time to back out. Back out? <laughs> Babe, I'm thinking maybe if I give her the money for her surgery. After the surgery, her feelings towards me might change. <laughs> 10 million is a huge sum of money. Are you trying to buy her love? No, why would you even say that? I mean, 10 million is not too much to spend on my would-be mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, I won't say otherwise because I know it's difficult to dissuade you when you make up your mind on something. Okay, now that we're clear. Can you please not tell my brother? I know he will not approve. <laughs> I don't approve of this. Nature does not approve of it. In fact, nobody will approve of such a thing. Stop being dramatic. Is it a yes or a no? I've heard. Thank you. Ten million naira? Yeah. Can you get mine though? Why are you sounding as if I want to do her? What exactly is this? No, what is this? Because my aunt is suffering from typhoid, that's all. Come on bro, let me explain this to you, okay? okay. I just want to use this money to upgrade my lifestyle. 
so that I can fit into our world. <laughs> I won't let you do that to her. And how do you intend to stop me? You will tell her the truth? <laughs> I know you won't. I know you won't. <laughs> Come on it, bro. Ten million. It's coming. It's coming. Why are you staring at me like that? Hey, Buka. I'm ready to leave. All right, I'll take it from here. Thank you. All right. Hey, Buka. Why don't you get me another bottle? We need to drink up, man. Ten million is coming. Why am I even bothered? I mean, it's her life and her money. I guess someone fell down from the sky. I made a little trip out of town. I didn't ask you for details. Guess you didn't miss me. That's if I actually made out time for that. Can we talk in my car? Namdi, we don't talk. We only have sex. But if you're looking for who to talk to, go home and talk to your wife. April. April, please. So, what is this about? My wife and I just divorced. I, I don't understand. Hold on. I hope it's not because of me. Because if it is, I have no interest whatsoever in filling that gap. Not exactly. Ever since I married my wife, she's been experiencing difficulty in conception. I didn't know what it was. Only for her to tell me the truth three months ago. She has no womb. Seriously? She said she had some kind of cancer, cancer of the uterus, and the doctors had to cut off her womb. And she kept it away from you? For seven years. Only for her to tell me a few months ago, along with the decision to quit the marriage. I'm really sorry to hear that. I was a good man, a good husband to her. I provided everything she needed and more. I was equally faithful until you came along. 
Do you want to go grab a drink or something? Not really. Much as I was not expecting my marriage to hit the rocks, I've come to realize that I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> oh, please, please, please. <laughs> I fell in love with you the same month that we met. Yes. Your independence, your fearlessness, coupled with the fact that you are fun to be with. Oh, enough of this. Hold on. In as much as I sympathize with you over what happened between you and your wife, but I can't marry a man out of pity. I don't want that either. All I'm asking is that I get an opportunity of a real date with you. Maybe you fall in love with me. No, Namdi. This heart is not meant to fall in love. I don't think I can go on with this. Then it's a goodbye. I wish you good luck in everything you do. Sounded so worried over the phone. Are you okay? I'm completely finished. What happened? No. Baby, talk to me. Did someone die? So, apparently, I went to the office and I discovered that the whole place was sealed up. Okay. The bank sealed up our company. Why? Is your company operating on bank loan? No. I just found out that my brother took a loan from the bank and used the house and the office as collateral. Your brother? Yes. I didn't know. No. But the bank has no right to seize your property. Look, baby, all we got to do is to prove to the court that you were not aware of the loan. He's a signatory to the account. Everything I have, he's a signatory to it. No, oh, wow. This is a big problem. I don't know what to do. My mom has locked herself in the room and she has refused to come out. And my brother, his phone is switched off. I don't know. I can't even reach him. You know what? You know what, baby? Listen. All hope is not lost. All hope is lost. They gave us 48 hours to leave this house. Oh, baby. Baby, please. My mom says she's going back to Enugu tomorrow. And I don't know if I can if I can stay with you for a while until I'm able to sort myself out. Until I'm able okay, to find it's my okay. feet. It's okay, it's it's okay, it's okay. Look, baby. I'm with you every step of the way. Look, you can stay with me as long as you want. Okay? I love you. Thank you. Come here. Come. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. wasting your time. He is like every other man out there. He's not like every other man out there. I know I'm not wasting my time. I thought he's different. Esther, you, you, you think every man is different until they prove you otherwise. You know what? I am done with love. I am done with anything 
that has to do with love. I'm going to live my life with reckless abandon henceforth. That's my girl. Now you're speaking my language. Johnny is not here. I can see that. What can I get you to drink? I assume he told you about our situation. Yeah. You know it's not true, right? It's not. My friend came up with the idea to be sure whether Johnny truly loves me because I was going to give him 10 million naira for his mother's surgery. We just had to be safe. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that you are okay and there is nothing wrong with you and your business? Yes. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's okay, I'm, I'm used to men like Johnny. Can I still get you something to drink? Water. To be a woman To be a woman A successful is it a crime to be a woman? To be a woman. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? I, I. I think we have to take things slowly this time. Okay. Um. um this Esther, stop. No, if you say so. Oh, God. Can I at least hold you? Sure. <laughs> successful woman. Successful woman. Successful woman. I know my relationship with your cousin was very short-lived, but I want to thank you for keeping our little secret. Okay. If you are going to do this, I have few of my own rules. Do what? This. <laughs> but this is nothing. Okay, if you say so. Uh, all right, fine, I'm listening. I... I respect the fact that you are a boss lady. In fact, I admire it. But in my world, I like to be the boss. I am the boss. I like to be in charge of things. But I don't... I am not done. I'm not interested in your money. In fact, I don't need anything from you. I like to take care of you with what I have and hopefully that should be enough. So, are we dating? Except if you're not interested. What about your cousin? I can handle him. 
No, you talk. <sighs> Esther, you're lovesick. You're down with love syndrome and you just can't be on your own. <sighs> you know what, April? You're right. I'm not like you. I don't know how you do it. Let me ask you one question. What if your mom finds out you're dating a bar boy? Well, thankfully, my mom has never been someone who cares about the financial status of anyone I'm with. Okay. And what if she also finds out he's Jonah's cousin? We can handle that. Are you sure he's not after your money too? Have you seen or heard Ibuka talk? That guy has a healthy dose of pride. That is one thing that I am so crazy about. Oh gosh. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. You are so pathetic. I give up. Any other question? Oh please. This is quite a lot to take. I know. You mean you've been in love with her all this while? I wasn't sure how I feel about her until I... until we made love the second time. Can't believe she played me. And I fell for it. No. You both played each other. I have to retire, bro. How we trip to plan? We good? We good, bro. See you around. All right, safe trip. Good night. My daughter said you work in a lab. Yes, ma'am. I own the lounge. Huh? You own the lounge? You didn't know? Well, for some reason, Ebuka found it very convenient to avoid that part of the description of his life. I didn't avoid any part. It just hasn't come up yet. Really? Yes. Then how are you working there as a barman? You own a company. You work there too. It's not the same. And I don't see how. You don't you see? No, don't. Let you me. serve people like you. Yes, you serve people. Yes, yes. Yes. Ah, darling, Thank I you. missed you. <laughs> I was just gone for one week. I That's a week. lot, John. Anyway, it feels good to be missed. Aww. Oh, no. Test love. <laughs> Angola looks good on you. Really? Mm -hmm. I was even thinking of relocating to Angola, you know. Come on, Mama. I was really joking. And uh, who do we have here? My name is Ebuka. Your sister's new boyfriend. Oh. Uh, don't worry, I'll explain later. Okay. okay. Yeah, you should have something. So. Yeah. Oh, have some of mine too. Oh, mom, come on. Mm. You're always competing. Madam, some of mine too. Ah. Madam, lunch is done already. Okay. Mom, I think we should go. Oh, right. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, yeah.
<laughs> Esther, I'm back in. Is that what you came with? Um, uh, yes. Are you okay with it? Of course I am, Mom. Okay, if you're okay, then I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, at some point, we might need to change this your car. Just uh, because we might just... <laughs> I will talk about For it. For family's sake. You will talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love mm. you too. Take care of you. Yeah. yeah. All right, bye, man. Drive safe. I will. Oh, God, you embarrass me. Mom. To be a woman, independent woman. Not something good, not something good. She's working for the family. She's praying for the family. Everything she does, she does for you and I. The least you should give is to say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. This place should thank you. To a successful woman. Successful woman. Successful woman. To be a woman, to be a woman, a successful woman, is it a crime? To be a woman, to be a woman, independent woman, not something good, not something good, she's working for the family. She's praying for the family Everything she does, she does for you and I The least you should give is to say thank you Say thank you Thank you This place should thank you To a successful woman Successful woman Successful woman To be a woman To be a woman A successful woman Is it a crime To be a woman To be a woman Ah, uh, what, what, what are we doing here? Oh, we are here to get plantain and beans. I mean, we can eat when we get to where we're going. No, this is where we are coming. Is this the lunch? Yes. <laughs> Come on, babe. Variety, they say, is the spice of life. You eat. Just taste it. You like it. You, you like it. You'll enjoy it. Uh, so, madam, how are you? Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Good afternoon. So, I need two plates. Give me um, add fish, uh, tazi ride, uba, and tomo. Uh, that would be how much? 1,000 yes, sir. I thought it's 800. No, 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 no. It's okay. Just, just do it. There's something about. You need to start considering moving out of this house because I mean you do not expect us to continue staying here after marriage. Me, yeah, I want to. I don't have strength for family drama. Well, babe, um, I actually have a house of my own. Yeah, my sister instructed the company to build one for me, and it was completed three months ago. Oh my god! Oh my god! You have a house? Yeah, I do. Well, I was actually keeping it as a pre-wedding present for my wife. Oh, and I 
ruined it for you. I'm sorry. Well, not exactly. Because my wife is yet to find out. <laughs> See, look, Maria. You have an unquenchable appetite which makes you dangerous. And it's your type that will drive a man into committing murder. <laughs> Babe, where's this coming from? From a place of truth, Maria. Look, Maria. If I marry you, I might end up becoming envious of my sister. And you know what envy does to a man? It can actually drive you into your own destruction. So I thought about it while I was away, that I need a better woman who can actually inspire me to be good to myself, to the society and my family. So I called you here to let you know that it is over between us. Abraham, <laughs> are you mad? No, 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 really, Abraham, are you mad? <laughs> Abraham, you know what? Go to hell. Go to hell and burn. Look at this small boy. No, no, wait. Look at this small boy that I am trying to manage. Are you mad? You should be happy that I even accepted to marry your sorry ass. Do you have any idea how many men that are coming for my hand? Do you know the caliber of men that want to marry me? Instead, I choose to stay with your sorry ass. Try to make something out of nothing. And you're here blabbing, talking about family, when I'm trying to make you an ambitious man. <laughs> you don't know what you are doing to yourself. You don't know that I am the kind of woman that will make you the obiku banner of tomorrow. Instead of you to beg me to stay, you're here. Are you mad? You should be begging me to stay with you. Are you stupid? Good riddance. Uh, Abraham. <sighs> Abraham, I'm sorry. Abraham, I didn't mean it that way. Oh, God. Abraham, can we talk? Them. We don't need this. It's not in our list. I know, but I mean, it's not that expensive and I really like it. Babe. Babe. What? We have almost all we need for this shopping. It's fine. I'll pay for it. It's not about paying for it, darling. You don't need this. It's not part of our list. We're not I... taking it, okay? <sighs> this is my list. I'm paying for it. And it's not even about the money. It's about want. Okay, what you're doing now is impulsive buying. Let's go, darling. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay. Let's go. This one grows.
never taken me to a restaurant before, Mom. Never! Girl, you're just being silly. You didn't even allow him to defend himself. It might be his business associates or something. I know what I saw. I didn't tell you people how we met. The first time we met, he was busy buying female clothes for God knows who. He can't buy clothes for his sister. Well, the lady I saw him with wasn't his sister. I mean, you don't touch your sister's hair and kiss her in public, do you? I mean, April was there, you can ask her. She saw everything. She will agree. She's a feminist. You're right, Mom. If that makes you sleep at night. See, she's just allowing me, let me give this guy a blue eye. To be a woman, to be a woman, a successful woman, is it a crime to be a woman? You know, I shouldn't have let you talk me into this. You need to find closure. At least find out who is cheating on you with. I mean... You know, you're right. I was faithful to him as a girlfriend. Now you get my point. All right, let's go. What's going on? Miss Esther Ike, I have loved you for so long. Please make me the happiest man on earth and say yes to me. Please. Please say yes to my younger brother that adores you so much. You knew? Yes, I do. I had to come here and confront him because I was very mad. Very, very mad. He explained everything to me, called his sister, and we spoke. And they told me what they were planning. Yes, um, I went to deliver the engagement ring to him. The fast food belongs to my husband, so they were discussing business. Joy here. She's my sister. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. No, you I, don't I need don't... to worry at all. Uh, April explained everything to me and it's okay. See, I am real with you and I will never play with your emotions nor take you for granted. Can you accept the love of your life? You're wasting our time. Let me get up. Yes. Yes.
Hey. Hi. Thank you for coming. You look gorgeous as usual. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you decided to wear this. Yes. Hmm. So, you asked to see me. Yes, I see. It. When I was 19 years old, I met this guy. And we dated for seven years. I gave him everything. My time. My money. My heart. My body. My friendship with people, I practically lived to make him happy. I saw him through medical school while I was training myself in school. And he dumped you? For a rich girl. He said he needed financial stability for his unborn children. And I couldn't give him that. I was devastated. I fell into depression. I suffered. But months after, I got up. And when I did, I promised myself I would be a successful woman and I would treat men with a disdain to deserve. Um, I'm not anything like him. I know. I also know you're not after my money, but you can afford me twice. So why don't you give me a chance? I promise to respect you. I promise to, to treat you like a woman that you are. Okay. Really? Yes. I want to give my heart a chance to love again. And I promise I'm going to love you till our old age. Old age? I accepted to date you and not to marry you, so don't even go there. Who we'll get there? <laughs> <laughs> Come here. To be a woman, a successful woman, is it a crime? To be a woman, to be a woman, independent woman. Now something good, now something good. She's working for the family. She's praying for the family. Everything she does, she does for you and I The least you should give is to say thank you Say thank you Thank you This place should thank you To a successful woman Successful woman Successful woman To be a woman, to be a woman, a successful woman, is it a crime? To be a woman, to be a woman, independent woman, not something good, not something good, she's working for the family. Praying for the family 
Everything she does, she does for you and I. The least you should give is to say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. A special thank you to a successful woman. Successful woman. Successful woman. To be a woman, to be a woman, a successful woman, is it a crime? To be a woman, to be a woman, independent woman, now something.